Once we have identified the classes that we are going to have in our system, we can go ahead and start developing the diagram. So in the diagram, I'm going to select a class and add it. Now notice it has three parts and the part that we know so far is the name. So we know that we have a class it's going to be called movie. We know we're going to have a class called DVD and these all move around later so uh, it's a good idea probably to leave space between them and if you have an idea in mind of what, how you want them organized that's also a good idea. You see that I have some idea of what I want. Movie file. So here you go and now you just go through each one and you say alright I'm going to add all this information or all these classes and one for each one. N notice how the these, these particular components come with a field and a method type and that will work good for us because we have the name, we'll be putting attributes here and operations here. So that will work well. And as I go through this and I simply add classes for each one, notice how that when you run out of space you're going to need way more than one page to do these. Then you just drag it over and add it and you can add the customer. I'm going to pause the video and add the remainder of these classes. There, now I've added all of those that were on the list of classes that I thought that we might need. Now I might need to add more later or I might be able to combine some, but right now we just get set up with all of the classes that we've so identified so far.